Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at Storolo Metro Station on the Oslo Metro. In today's video, we're going to go to a technical museum. So I've come here on the Metro, you can see there's a main line beside there, and there's a tram. So there's a tram running along there on the other side of this road, and then there's another tram route, I think it's 11 and 12. I need to go to the end of 11 and 12, that's where the technical museum is. This station, the line's above ground, and then in front of us there, it goes underground. It reminds me a bit of Drayton Park station on the line out of Moorgate, the first station above ground. I'm kind of hoping, I don't know if a train would go past on the main line, but I just realised the closest track to me is actually just a siding. So it's like a single track main line. So I don't know how long it's going to be till the train comes. I'm probably not going to wait for a train. I'm going to find my way out of the station to where the trams are. And we've got to do a tram bash, which will be exciting. New track for me, or well, this was a new track as well, but a new bit of tram line for me to find this technical museum. I've been to a few technical museums lately and transport museums. I went to some in Germany, also visited the Ulster Transport Museum in Northern Ireland recently. Very brutalist looking station right now. So we're gonna go up these steps, well, brutalist and um, metallic station. Find a way out of here. And that's where we'll find the trams to get us to the technical museum. So the, okay, right, yeah. So. There's all sorts of, that must take you under the road to go out there. Now, which side am I gonna be? I'll probably be this side of the tram, so I'll go out this entrance here. Bit of a weird station. No ticket barriers, as I, you may have seen some of my other videos. Oh look, there goes a tram down there, number 128, one of the Duvag trams. There's some high rise tower blocks behind me. Oh, that's the tram stop. So, I need to cross the road to the tram stop and uh, catch my my tram, just, just over there behind that van. Well, here we are, I have arrived at the last stop. I'm not gonna try and pronounce it, I'm not exactly sure how it's spelled. Here's the stop, and then the tram, you can just see it just there. There's a loop, and they, they terminate on a loop. So you get off here, and then it looks like you get back on again there. So that's the next tram. And there's already another tram, but the penultimate stop's only just up there. So there's a tram coming in now. So it's one of those, it's quite a busy loop. There's also a middle track. So look, as one, as one goes, the one I was on will go to there. Yes, there's people on it. And then the next one's already arriving, so it's all quite busy. These are built by Duvarg. These are currently the oldest trams in service. I wanted to film inside the tram, but it was quite busy. But I'll just show you through the window. You can see quite a nice maquette on the seats. They only have a driver at one end, and you can, or no, the other one I was on, you could sit at the back. This one hasn't got seats, so this one's slightly different. Anyway, I'm gonna go across the road. There's another one coming. The next one coming is um, one of the Alessandro Bero trams, like the ones with, very similar to what we used to have in Birmingham. So, that's gonna go around the loop so there, the one I've just been on is going to go into a pier. Somewhere near here is the railway line, the same railway we saw beside the station at Storrell. And then from there, that line also comes up here. So we've come up a bit of a hill, but if you look that way, I don't know how obvious it is on camera, but we've now come down a bit of a hill. It's a bit foggy and misty. I'm not up as high as I was if you saw my other video when I went to the end of one of the metro lines. I'm not quite so high up and it's much more residential. That really was just purely in forest anyway. I'm going to, oh look, there comes the Alessandro Bero tram. So they're very similar to the middle of Metro trams, original batch. Most of them have been scrapped. I think one or two still survive, but they've got an extra carriage. They've got an extra carriage in the middle. So that's pulling in now. I'm going to have to go and find this technical museum though, because that was the reason I came here. I'm just now getting a bit fascinated by the end of the tram route. Just come down the hill from there and I'm coming down to the railway station. I don't know how long it will be until a train comes along. I can see the technical museum, which we've come to the end of the tram line to visit. Nice old traditional railway architecture there. There we go. You can just see the museum is that building in front of us. All that they do this where they use an old phone box, although it looks like it's still a functioning phone box. There's like a miniature library. Anyway, here we are. Here's the railway station, so I'm ticking off 
this railway station visiting. I've also got to work out how to cross the track. Very nice. It's a snowy, wintry railway station. And look at that. Very nice, attractive station building. And that's the museum. I've just got to go and find my way under the railways. Let's go and visit this museum. Well, here we are. We've just come into the museum. And straight away, we find this giant waterway. It's quite exciting to see that going around. That's pretty big. We'll see a few interesting things as we look around the museum. There is at least one steam locomotive here. That's kind of how I knew about the museum, how I discovered it and made me think, right, I want to come and visit at least to tick off that steam loco, but I'm sure it will be an interesting museum on a cold day like it is today. It's quite nice to just get inside for a bit. So what we'll do, we'll walk around the museum. I won't show you everything, but I'll show you some of what I think are the more interesting parts of the museum, some of the more interesting exhibits. Quite a large museum, so sort of place, you know, I probably could have done with a bit more time here, but anyway. So that's an industrial and an architectural model, possibly of an industrial site somewhere. Various exhibits around, have a look at that. Lots of machinery, this seems to be the machinery hall. Everywhere there's different types of machinery. Here you've got some, some logging machinery, but look at this. It's a nice big model railway. I wonder if I press this. Looks like I might... I didn't even have to press it and I've done yeah, something. Yeah, God, yeah, it's speaking. Dark. I think I must have set, set off a sensor. Oh, that sounds promising. Oh, look, look, steam loco. The lights just came on and it's just pulling out the station. What I'll do, it looks like quite an exciting layout. We'll watch it go over the bridge now and then I'll, I'll come back and do another video without me talking just purely on the steam engine. Let's just watch it cross the bridge. Here it comes. I always enjoy seeing a, a big model railway like this. So yeah, we'll, we'll see more of that. In fact, have a look at things on screen now. You can see the model railway in action. Now, let's have a look, see what else we can see. There's various sort of lifts and things and stairs going off in all sorts of directions. You sort of, I'm not really sure where to go. They did give me a map of the museum. So I suppose I could use that. So there's a helicopter. And uh, Look, but, but above me there appears to be an aeroplane. I think that's the transportation gallery. We'll get up. Yeah, look, there is a few aircraft. So we'll get up there and have a look at that. More machinery. More machinery. Oh, this is nice. It's like a, a workshop with lathes and milling machines inside. That's quite good to see. So it's, it's like I say, technical museum technology explains about bits of everything. Um, and we got the impression there's aircraft here. Oh, well, look at this. A whole room of milling machines and, and lathes. I like seeing all these belts. It's great to see that. It's like, um, you don't get that in the UK now. Hmm, okay, I think now we've come into like a hospital gallery. Maybe it all seems to be everything to do with hospitals. So it's, uh, this isn't really my area, but no doubt interesting. Yeah, that's clearly it's obviously an operating theatre, and I think that's probably an ambulance. So let's go and have a look around, see what else we can find. Yeah, see, there's what's saying about there being there's like a random spiral staircase here going down. So let's just go down this way. This goes. It's yeah, fascinating place. I always enjoy museums because you just never quite know what you're going to find. And especially when you go to other countries, you know what, it's part of the fun because, um, oh, is that a hall of mirrors? It's some weird mirror. Oh, okay. I just walked into human body and now that this is going to show me. Hello. Hi. Yeah, all a bit odd. Uh, ooh, what is. Okay, I think. Am I going into a human. I think this is a human heart I'm walking through. Yeah, this is the what I think it's supposed to be like inside a human heart. So, okay, this is really bizarre. This was not what I expected. So I was going to go and look for a steam engine. Here I am, walking through a human heart. This is, that was weird. 
Okay, so I now know what it's like inside my heart. Um, yeah, or everyone's heart. Another random mirror there. Weird. <laughs> anyway, um, so as you can see, it's not. It's a museum of all sorts of different things. Um, a lot of the information, some of it is in English, but no, um, yeah, it's all in Norwegian, so I'm not too sure. Some, okay, that's clearly a giant ear, um, and various other, there's a baby in a womb. Um, yeah, not really my kind of uh, subject here, but yeah, person's body, and that's with all the organs coming out. And I, I think I need to get back to my kind of thing. What have we got here? Oh, wow, okay. So we're like in a great big room now. Um, of, wow, what's that? Of, yeah, just all sorts. It's a bit like how I remember the Science Museum to be when I was little. Oh, look, there's the workings of a giant clock there. You know, I used to go to the Science Museum when I was little. They used to have a thing called the launch pad. I don't know if they've still got it, but it reminds me a bit of that. I think what I'm going to do, though, I'll take myself upstairs and upstairs again. And we should hopefully see the transport gallery. That's the main reason I came to visit this museum today. So where are we now? Oh, I see. That's that big model railway, isn't it? I think, yeah. I'm at the other end of that model railway. See? There's that big model railway. So if I go... I don't know what's going to come around the corner in this next museum. Whoa, okay. Walk through this rather red corridor. Okay, I think I'm like, walking through the giant part of a person. Um, let's go upstairs. Oh, yeah, this, this looks more my kind of uh, uh, style of things. This must be the transport gallery. I'm saying that because it appears to be an aeroplane directly above me. This is a bit of a. It's a cool museum, but just a bit. I wasn't expecting that. I suppose I just expected technical. And yes, yeah, so I've got all the technicals of the human body, but now. That's like an automated bus, I think. And then, as I said, there's an aeroplane. Ah, and this is what, well, I'll show you one side first. You've got a few cars here, so I'm feeling more at home now. There's a Volvo, it's a police car, oh, and it's, I don't think I've got to pull over. And what's that? Ford Tunis, Ford Cortina. That's some Bluebird, Mercedes, and a Beetle. And then on this side is what I came to see. Steam Loco. It's one of these ones that's had, it's, uh, it's been cut inside so you can see how it worked. So that's the tank there, there's the boiler, and uh, we should actually be able to see inside the can. So yeah, and that's where the fire would go, just in there. So I don't think this one's ever gonna run again. Uh, I haven't even got the number of it. <laughs> I'll have to tick it off in my preserved locomotive book. But at least we can see it. Oh, this is a ship. Oh, I see. I press the button. Yeah, I've just set the engine of a ship going. And then I think, oh yeah, this is the side of a ship. Oh, I see, yeah, look, that is the engine, steam engine of a paddle steamer. So you can see how big the cylinders are. And then it would have turned the paddle steamer's wheel. Oh, we come around here, look, there's a tractor engine. Or a steamroller, rather. Looks like a UK one. I think it was built in the UK. Let's see if we can see a bit. Oh, yeah, look, Aveling and Porter, Rochester and Kent. That's funny, because when we went to this technical museum at Sinside in Germany, we found the Aveling and Porter steamroller built at Rochester in Kent. So it's quite funny that everywhere I go, I seem to find one of them. Let's have a look over here. We can go up. They've recreated like a little railway station area. And that's where we can see the other side of the steam engine. It's not cut into. There's also a tram, but I'll look at that in a moment. So here we are. Here's the steam engine. Here's the steam engine. It's got number 44 on the funnel, so I can probably tick that off as 44, but I really need to see a works number. So hopefully it'll still have its works plate. Um, let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Built in 1923, so it's not clear to see it's so dark in here. So works number 322. So, yeah, okay. And then there's a carriage here, or part of a carriage. What's down here? Then? Oh, and then they've recreated like the interior of a railway carriage. So you can sit in here, and um, there's a screen showing things. So let's have a look and see what else we can find. So it's nice to see a steam engine, even if it isn't one that's gonna run again. 
and then there we have a tram, a little electric tram. If you want to see more of Oslo's trams, look at the link on screen now. You'll see the, I went to the tram, tram museum in Oslo, which was quite good. Saw lots of trams, a bit like this. What's quite interesting is if you look here, so you've got the tram quite clearly. We created a bit of tram line. Oh, and then typically, the moment I say they stopped, they were projecting a driver's eye view on so you can see where you're going. But anyway, it's stopped now. Well, it's going to start again. Well, let's just have a look around. Um, I think I'll show you most things I want to show you now. We'll go around to where the aircraft are. We'll have a look at the aircraft and then just see what else we can find. We're coming to the motorbikes gallery. There's lots of motorbikes, vintage cars, and as I said, there is that, that large aeroplane. So we're coming down to that end of the gallery. So we should be able to see that here. It's getting foggier outside. Um, yeah, look, this is, here's that rather, it's really not that big aeroplane actually, it just feels big in this this room. It's, although, you know, you need a good couple of hours here, it's not as big as the museums I visited in Germany at Speyer and since I'm those ones, you really did need a whole day. I'm glad I didn't need a whole day here because the time I got here in Oslo, simply wouldn't have time to do that many things. Ah, now yeah, I've heard about this gallery. I think what they do, there's lots of different exhibits and what they, they do a personalized trail for you. So if you have a look, see you put, you get like this stick and you put it in there and uh, it tells you about it. So I think what you do, you, you get, um, I'll try and find them. I won't do it on camera, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. Basically you get yourself a stick and it takes you, you you answer a few questions and then it creates a trail and shows you, takes you to the these exhibits, the ones it thinks you'll be most interested in. So you effectively get a personalized trail of this of this um, gallery. So that's quite a good idea. We go through here and we'll be looking down where we saw the steam engine. So there you are, look. British steam in the form of Aveling and Porter, and then Norwegian steam. Oh yeah, that, that's the thing. What's going on here? Look, there's a... There's like a little, a little ball rolling around in there. And I think it's making a pattern as it goes. Anyway. Yeah, so what happens is, if you go into this room here, this thing here, this is not the top of a nuclear reactor, that's what it looks like. I think what you do, you pick up one of these, you go to one of any one of those screens there you answer a few questions and then it creates a personalized trail for you so that's quite a nice idea so you really just get to see what you're most interested in but yeah this does look like the top of a pressurized water reactor so i think i've pretty much um shown you i think sorry i just dropped my plan everything that i'm where are we now interested in there's one more thing i want to show you just down here so what so that pretty much brings me to the end of the video so I hope you have enjoyed it but we're not quite done there is one more thing there is also a gallery on the ground floor but again it's more stuff I'm not too interested in or know too much about so yeah look we're at the top of that water wheel so you see how big it is as the water flows on that leak and drops into there talking of model railways there is one more massive model railway Unfortunately, it's not going, but it does look really... I'd love to see this going. I think they do run it sometimes, but it's not running today. So, from the Technical Museum in Oslo, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Goodbye.